Right, well, welcome back everyone to this <laughs> Apollo 11 stream. It has gone a little bit sideways, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, it didn't go right. The separation on the craft uh, did not work. Um, so it looks like so I've had to redesign it uh, in the uh, come back to the um, you know place where I build the ships. I can't remember what it's called now. <laughs> the building uh, where I built it, I've redone it so that it, it still looks pretty much the same. But rather than go back, stop this mission, start the other one, and re go through this whole process again where we land on the moon, I decided we'll continue from where we are. Now, what I did after this stream last time was uh, to dock up with the other one and. Um, and then I was going to come back down again, but uh, but because it all went, it's gone messed up. What I've done is taken that same one that was was docked, and I brought it back down again, so you can see it again. Now we're going to be a bit tighter on fuel now. That's the only trouble. And this thing does not separate, so I refueled the uh, engine, you know, the actual tank here, so that it's now pretty much full. Uh, I did about three quarters because it's still enough to get us to the surface, and I refilled this one as well. Uh, in fact, no, I emptied that because this does not separate. So, unfortunately, that went wrong. Slight design problem, um, which I've fixed now, but I didn't want to relaunch the whole Apollo 11 and do it all again. So, I've corrected it. With the thing is going above us at the moment. In fact, it, we're probably too far past now. So, let's put this on orbit, actually. And we're going to take off. So, we're going to fire our engines. And then we're going to turn on to our 90 degrees here. And I'm also going to turn, because I do like it actually like this. So that it's, it's a fairly straight line that makes it easier for me. Right, and then we're going to, I'm probably going a little bit too fast actually. Uh, and then we're going to go on to a nice 90 degrees. And uh, we're going to catch up with this one. So let's, you know, with a bit of luck, we'll time it just right that uh, we're going to make it. Now we should have enough fuel. We're going to be a little bit tight coming back to Kermin, of course. So that's going to make it a little bit difficult. I might have to turn a little bit in, actually. I think I've gone a little bit too far too early, and maybe I'll increase the thrust. Because it's all happening a little bit slowly. So let's increase the thrust a little bit. Um, as long as we're behind it, I don't mind. And actually, I should get rid of the landed legs should go up. So I normally would have left the bottom bit behind but um, yeah the bottom bit is not separating so uh, I was unable to do that unfortunately. It's a bit of a shame but uh, I didn't want to redo the whole mission again so. Now Ron I think is a 15 orbit. Oh I accidentally pressed that one. So uh, I'm pretty sure it's all 15 by 15 orbit so we're going to get up to about there and then we're going to whoops a daisy we've got to rapidly hang on we've got to rapidly uh <laughs> hang on i didn't realize it was that close uh rapidly bring this orbit out oh no what am i doing no i'm looking at the wrong one i thought that was mine then <laughs> oh i get so confused when i'm streaming it's unbelievable really well, you know, you saw it last time. <laughs> right, I'm going to get this right smack dab in the middle, and then we're going to push this out. And uh, sometimes you get a manoeuvre, you know, right almost instantly. Like a really good distance right from the start. So I'm just going to check what I am. I want to be around about the 15 mark on either end. Uh, well, actually a bit less than that. I want to be more like 14. So I'm going to go around to uh, about 14, so we're slowly catching up with it. Like, say, like that. Okay. So let's get ourselves on our manoeuvre node. Hopefully you can hear me a bit better. I've got the mic a bit closer this time. So hopefully you can hear me a lot better this time. Right, so we're, we're coming up. We're going to be a little bit far a bit farther behind than I thought now, but still, it doesn't really matter too much. We can, we can catch that up in a few orbits. Right, it's going to take uh, 13 seconds, so we want to have that, so six and a half seconds. Well, I'll do seven. Uh, that should be about right. Now, you can go for, as I say, a direct... 
you know, a director docking straight to it, but it's it's not exactly easy, and you could get your orbit wrong if you get it if you do do it wrong. But I think I timed that a bit late because I was just talking at the beginning, so it got a little bit further away from me. So I apologise for that. Oh, actually, I've done that a little bit too early. Hang on, should have done that a little bit too early there. Let's do it from here. Now hopefully that will wobble about too much, but you notice it's pulling off slightly, so that's not really helping. And then make sure we shut it off just before we get to end. Let that reline up and then just push that last little bit very gently. Not too fast and try and get that on zero. That, well, point one is near enough. Okay, then we'll get rid of that maneuver node. Right, so we should be on our, you know, on orbit, which pretty much what we wanted. 14 by, uh, where's the other end? 14 by 15, yeah, so that's not too bad. Now, he is on, yeah, I think we're set, is that, we've set that to target. Uh, a bit, yeah, wherever you put, wherever I put this um, <laughs> recording thing, it always seems to get in my way, because practically every part of the screen does get covered at some point so it's a little bit tricky right now we're a little bit away from it because I was chatting too long at the beginning I should have paused the game really uh, so we just got to wait a few orbits to catch up so I'm gonna do this and we'll just slowly catch up in fact what I could do when I get to this end is um, do a maneuver note from this end so that uh, We'll catch up even quicker, so I don't really wait too long. And uh, make sure we're on the correct one, which would be this one. And then we're going to pull this in until we're about 14 by 14. Right, uh, hopefully that will bring our maneuver out a bit shorter, hopefully. So I reckon about there. I don't tend to go below about... I think it's 12 and a half is the actual, you start to get affected by the gravity. Although I must admit it does come up wrong with the information sometimes on the, uh, on there. <laughs> Which is a, a bit odd. Uh, I should be off of that. Right, okay. Right, let's uh, go past the uh, maneuver node and then you can get this warp to the next maneuver. We're the one, and we're not the one in front, by the way. We're this one here, so we haven't gone past it. Uh, right, we need it's point one of a second. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the thrust down on the uh, engine here because we're going to do a lot of fine maneuvers now. So we're going to turn this thrust limit down to about I don't know fifty percent. So that it makes this not too fast. In fact, I'm going to go down to about 30%. So that we don't do this too fast, because 0.1 is a extremely short period of time. So uh, we want to make that a little bit slower. Otherwise, it's just going to go whoosh, whoosh, straight down, straight up, and we'll overshoot. So uh, best to turn it down. I mean, I possibly could have gone lower again, but uh, we'll see how we go. But I'm just going to do it manually. So hold the left button if you're on uh, Xbox. Hold the left button down with your finger and then do the D-pad up to increase the thrust and down to switch it off. And then we're going to do right about here. As you can see, very fast, even with that. Okay, it's now shut off, so zero should take us near enough to where we want to go. Right. Now, we may have increased our separation. Uh, oh, not much, really. Not too bad. Uh, and there's also one over here. So there's two, so each orbit you know, these two will update themselves. Our descending node is 0.2, so I think what we'll do now is, which is our, you know, whether we are in line as we're spinning round and round. Uh, so we're just going to even this out. So go to the purple ones with the triangle, and we're going to push this up until we get this down to zero. Wrong way, just go the other way if it's the wrong way. Uh, yeah, sometimes as it flicks over, it disappears like that. Doesn't help. So just get this, push it very, very gently on your joystick, very slowly, so you just get this to zero like that. 
usually when it flips it's there but yeah as you can see slight touch makes a huge difference straight away so that is going to bring us absolutely perfectly in line on the plane in other words you know this line that's going round and round we're both on the exact the same angle so therefore you know we're not coming in at a strange angle we're coming in almost straight on so that makes it a lot easier right we've done that that should not really affect our orbit at all still we're still on 14 and 14 we're down to 13 but worse we're okay on that because if you, yeah if, if you actually click on the planet itself um it does say on here 2000 is the sphere of influence I'm pretty sure it used to be about 12 and a half or something so yeah I'm a little bit confused by that why that has changed because it did used to be a bit higher at one time I sure it was but you know who am I I mean I'm not an expert <laughs> as you could probably gather watch my stream <laughs> right it's gonna be point two again so another fast one so I'll do it like one second I think uh, make sure we switch it off and exit warp mode. Make sure we switch it all the way down to 1 and then we're going to fire our engine again very quick. So try and make sure you switch it off in time. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you really push down on it and uh, maybe press it a couple of times just to be on the safe side. Because uh, it can go so fast. <laughs> right, we're going to click on that. We've got our descending node at perfect now. So we don't need that highlighted anymore. And uh, if we move over the descending node and we just click that like that it will just go off we could get rid of this one as well but it's so close to the other one that it might switch off the other oh no it's all right so we're 48 so uh, we're a little bit closer now now I could mess around with the orbit and stuff so that but I don't want to be too low in the atmosphere because it may start pulling us down so we're just going to warp forward. Now you could go to a tracking station and speed this whole process up, but it's not going to take a huge amount of time for us to catch up. And then we'll just ease out our orbit back to 15. He's on a 15 by 15 as, as far as I remember. So they're both on about 14 at the moment. So I'll push the one of those up to 15 and then so that we can just come in a little bit slower on the final section. I tend to do it this way because it's a little bit safer. It's gradually go round and round, just get closer and closer. And then when you're getting fairly close, like I wouldn't say 10 or 15, then bring one of them out to the same orbit distance as them. So if it's 15, go to 15. And then keep the other one below it so that we're still going slightly faster because we're inside the line. So obviously we've got a smaller circle, so we should be moving in a bit closer. So, because we, we still want to do that, it would just slow each orbit down the separation. But we, you want to approach them slowly, you don't want to be charging in and doing everything at the last minute. It can be a bit dodgy if we do that. Uh, this should change now to 24. So, that's about what 10 each time. So, another couple of orbits, we should be pretty close. And then we can actually do a, a, a practically a direct orbit thing. Uh, but yeah, if you can time this distance right from your takeoff point to the ship that's passing overhead, you can get it so that they do line up as you're actually, um, you know, taking off. Uh, and once you hit your 15 or whatever, um, as you push your orbit out to complete, and you know, to make it, to make it into full orbit, you can actually sometimes get a very very close encounter almost straight away. But it's just judging the distance that the craft is away that you want to join with as it goes over the top of you. Right, we're down to 12. So probably the next one will probably, you, we might, it might actually go past and make you further away again. So what I'm going to do is go around to this orbit here. And I'm going to slow that down because we don't want it to go down by about 10 anymore. We want it to go down... Uh, a bit less than that. Uh, in fact, if I um, let's, let's click on here a minute and just set a maneuver now, because normally, if you click on this, it will show you what the next 
Yeah, you see, it's starting to go further away. So this this gives you like a preview of the next orbit. Well, actually, the next orbit, or the next two orbits, it's going to be a separation of one. So actually, I'm going to keep this going. And then we're going to delete that one. So we're actually going to be very, very close. So actually, that's not too bad. So I'm going to let this go around two more orbits, because then it's going to end up with a 0.1 separation, which is going to be really good if you can get to we you know, one kilometer that's a good area to start your docking procedure you know if you can get a one or less i mean obviously 0.5 is better but if you can get a one kilometer distance so it should go down to what was it about is it four or something like that or eight or something i don't know what, what, what was it to 1.1 so that's down to 1.1 right so from now on, of course, it's going to jump past that next time. So we need to bring that orbit out now to what we were going to do, which is 15. So this orbit here, if I can get my uh, arrow up, which is 13. We're going to add a maneuver here. Uh, try and line this up dead center if you can, because it's more accurate that way. And then we're going to push this one out. If we highlight it, it should have highlighted both, but one of them you should see move. And we're going to push that out to 15, like that. Uh, what is his orbit, actually? His is 1530. So that is about right there. And what's his other one here? Um, because his is the two sort of yellow ones like that, and our, our, ours are the two sort of orangey ones, really. So we're going to have a 15 one side, a 13 the other. So we still may go past, but as we get to the other side, then we'll adjust this one as well. OK, so we'll see as we get closer um, how that's going to affect it. So let's go to the manoeuvre node. So that blue marker that we got on, it's always this manoeuvre node here. So I hope we don't mess this up this time. <laughs> Right, we've got a burn time of point 0.1, so again, a really fast one here. So, and in fact, I'm going to turn that thrust down even more, because we don't want it going tremendously fast like I was doing last time. So I'm going to go down to about 10% this time. So that'll give us, you know, make it run a little bit slower so we can manage it a little bit quicker, a little bit easier, shall I say. So... This increases it to 3.5, but when you get to the other side, then we're going to increase this one, and that should pull it back in again, too. And we might actually be able to get a really close encounter of the third kind. <laughs> Sorry about that, I couldn't resist that one. <laughs> a close encounter of the third kind, you ninny. Ninny hammer. And we all know where that comes from. Lord of the Rings movie. I'm a bit of a Lord of the Rings. I wouldn't say nut, but I'm extremely fond of that film and the book. Right, we're ready then. We should, it should be a nice, slower sort of thrust. So it may, it may be a bit longer than 0.2 now, but that's all right. I'll, I'll roll around that and be manageable than have it to suddenly go crazy on me. <laughs> right. Do it about here. That's about right. I want it to be about... And stop beforehand like that that should be about right as long as it says zero we should be about right right so 3.4 so so uh, then what we'll do then is we'll bring this one here because obviously we're a little bit further away now and then we're going to just centralize this one off okay like so and then we're actually going to click on that so we can see what it's going to be and we should actually see that separation get better hopefully it's not doing a lot is it <laughs> it's not doing a lot actually uh so let's go a little bit less than whatever he is he is yeah so we want to still be less Uh, what I might do is go a little bit higher, because if I go higher, I might get a really close distance. See that one there, look? It's getting very close, so let's keep pushing this one. I might be able to get it very, very low. Not 
really. So, let me see, let me think. So actually that's not a very good point to do it, is it? So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do it 15 by 15, which is roughly what it is. So we're still approaching it, hopefully. Now, this is where things get a little bit delicate, so you've got to be really careful when you start starting to do these smaller ones. We're still going to be a little bit out. I thought I would be able to adjust that a little bit better, but at least this brings our orbit close to his. Actually, I'm going to bring that in a little bit more. Where is it? Let's bring that in slightly because that's a little bit um, too much now. So I'll bring it down to about 15. So we'll approach it nice and slowly. Say there. And then each time we go around, we're going to get closer and closer. That's the theory, anyway. <laughs> What do we achieve? That is another matter. And we still should have plenty of fuel. He said, crossing his fingers. <laughs> and then we're going to cut, then we'll start make, planning our journey. I hope there's enough fuel to get back. We should be okay for fuel to get back. Because half a tank in the uh, service module should be enough to bring us back. And what's spare on the uh, lunar module, we can just uh, put back into the uh, the main uh, Apollo craft. So we should still have enough, hopefully. If not, I'll have to do it on the little one. Although I wouldn't be able to carry all three with that, would I? Only two. <laughs> we could leave the other one behind here. It'd be fine. You'd just go around the moon for 10 years. It'd be all right. But I don't forget to hold the left button down. It's going to be another quick one, so I'll leave it till about one or two seconds. Sometimes you can be lucky and time it just right, and uh, you know you can actually get a very, very close encounter on it. Right, I managed to stop that just right. Okay, right then. So let's zoom out a bit and see what our separation is. Right, our separation's there. Now what I can do is, I could say go to his orbit line. Which might be better, because I always forget which part of the map is the best one to make all these fine adjustments. Hang on a minute. Why has it gone to three all of a sudden? <laughs> Just by clicking on that, it went to three for some unknown reason. Lord knows why that happened. Apparently, if I do it from there, I can get it to about two by the look of it, which is beautiful. It does seem rather close. It, 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 it actually changed that number without me even doing anything, which is a little bit odd. So I hope this doesn't uh, turn into something disastrous again like last time. Right, I'm going to uh, click on my target here. Oh no, we're still on target. Right, okay, we're still on the target. Right. For some reason that is <laughs> not going on it for some reason. Why is this not actually switching to the blue dot? This thing game does baffle me at times, it really does. How it See, it seems to forget things. Because if I take that off now, it's going <laughs> to... So I'm a little bit confused now, because uh, this is, seems to be showing up right. I hope we could dock in the light this time, it would be nice. Right, there it is, right in the way of the sun there. So I'm going to go forward fast a little bit, and it should come pretty close. It should come within about 3.3. It just seems odd that without making any adjustment to that, it immediately 
made a difference, which is a little bit odd. I find that very strange. And it's not even showing the marker up, which is also very strange. <laughs> this is this is a little bit baffling. It's a little bit worried actually when I see stuff like this happen. How can that be making a difference, even though I'm making no difference here? What's <laughs> it's actually making no difference? Which is kind of a bit insane. It, I think it's such a so close that uh, it's probably dithering about all over the place. <laughs> I wonder if it's because I've got the wrong one of these. I don't know. I mean, I can't wear this out. <laughs> it does seem to be a bit odd. So maybe I'm pointing the right way anyway. It seems strange that it's uh, changing without me actually doing a lot. Right, let's get it down about 10 seconds. And I multiple tap on that button. So it, I presume that arrow dance around means I'm practically in the right spot. Yeah, see what I mean? It's <laughs> and that was 10%, so yeah, so yeah, actually that's fine. Okay, and we're actually going to be in the light this time, thank God. So we could now um, say warp here, and I'll just check that we don't sort of crash it. So I'll just observe this as we're going round, so that we don't uh, crash or anything. If I get to see it getting a bit close, we're twelve point four. Uh, sorry, two point four, two point two. So yeah, we'll eventually get to that point. We should be very close by the time we get to here. I don't really want to get this close. Are we going to be on the dark side? Please don't be on the dark side. So I would like to see what I'm doing this time. <laughs> it always seems to be on the dark side. On the dark side. Right, I'm going to put a little marker on here. and Again, the recording little button or strip there is blocking my view. Just going to set a manoeuvre node. Purely to, so that we know it's four minutes before we get there. That's the only reason I'm doing that, so that I can speed this up. Uh, I'll ignore the manoeuvre node, we don't need that. And then we can just speed this up. And I know that I've got like three minutes, 40, 30 something to go. Uh, and then what we do is we're going to fire our engines in a moment. So, uh, so this is mainly for people that don't know how to do this. I'm just going to do some tips but it's also like a little show of my Apollo 11 that I made with the sort of standard parts oh we're down to one second <laughs> I should have uh... right so we're gonna I gotta do this quick and do that sorry that one because we gotta slow ourselves down rather rapidly so let's push towards the target and we'll slow what we'll, well, we're actually going to head towards the target so I hope our orbit doesn't change too much I think I've got already got way past it yeah it looks like I have hang on let me have a look where we are so my orbit's probably crazy at the moment um, So I hope we don't, I never have to. So yeah, chatting has made me go a bit wrong. I hope I do not run out of fuel, otherwise I'll be in serious trouble. Did this a little bit too late. So it's going to really push my orbit out, unfortunately. But stop. Sometimes that thing will not stop when I want it to. It's probably messed up my orbit now, isn't it? 
yeah, I thought so. But as we get around here, we'll be pushing it back out again, so we should be all right. It's actually made it worse now. God, unbelievable. <laughs> right, I'm going to point towards the target. And then I'm going to wait until we get to this point here. Oh, this has kind of messed it right up, hasn't it? I had a feeling it was going to happen. So we're going to push towards the target. Should increase that other orbit, but it obviously it's going to mess a few things up here. So it should balance itself out eventually. But yeah, as you can see, we're way out at the moment. But Yeah, I know. <laughs> things always seem to go wrong when I do this. Always. Every single time. It's always a complete shambles normally. Right, I'm going to do a maneuver out here. Like so. Oops. Oh, get off. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong wall. What is the matter with me? Press that. Right, press A. And then push so now we're going to push this back out because they're obviously too low and that should increase you know bring this back together and we'll probably be yeah right on the cold cold area not the cold area the uh right where it's dark again i always seem to get it's always seems to be in the dark when i get these maneuver nodes <laughs> every time it's ridiculous really so <laughs> it's all going wrong Yeah, <laughs> Do you know, sometimes I wonder why I bother. I bet you're thinking that and all. <laughs> oh dear. Right, I think I'm going to use a monoprop, I think. Go to docking mode. Hope. I did this earlier, as you know, and. Um, It would not fire my uh, my thrusters, which is a bit odd. Should be pushing this orbit out now. Not really. Don't matter being pushed out when we get there. God, I'm getting dull for this. You'd normally I'd do these all right, but uh, <laughs> every time I go on stream, it just messes up every time. I don't know why it happens. It must be because uh, I'm trying to try too hard. I don't know. But yeah, it's uh, annoying. I'm going to... Oops. I shouldn't have done that, really. I mean, I'm still okay because we're 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 on a you know we're pretty high here, so we can easily adjust this back. So it's not a problem. But this is a problem with trying to go for direct orbits and things. These me can can mess you up, and I'm not really good at it. Uh, and I kind of mess this up. Why is it every time I do this, I mess it up? Because you're old. <laughs> That's a good point. So I'll wait till this gets a little bit closer, down to, what, 100 is it? Well, it says zero there. And because I can't wait and I'm impatient, I'm going to get let it go even closer. Like so. So we're going to get very, very close here. Hopefully we're going to be all right here. So I mean, it's, right? We're gonna. Whoops! I gotta be fast here because I've got to cancel that out now. Oh my goodness! What is going wrong here? Is it going in reverse? Because sometimes this is what happens. It actually goes in reverse, 
and it looks like it is going in reverse again and and it's actually increasing in distance as i go so oh i see what's going on it's firing both engines again oh i cannot believe this is happening every time i try and do this i fire the engine for some reason it's firing this engine at the same time and this one's turned off believe it or not it's actually firing its engines isn't it which is unbelievable because that's me that's it. that one his orbit has changed look so he's gonna hit How can his orbit change? I had this last time, so I, I think I'm going to give up on this. It's not even showing his... I've, I've targeted it. Hang on, which one am I on? I'm on this one. Hang on, let me switch back to the other one. But for some reason, this one is way off course. For no apparent reason. And in fact, it's still accelerated. There's no engine on. So, yeah. I, do, I don't believe that this is happening, but unfortunately, this is happening sometimes. And it, it totally messes the game up. This is... I tend to, you know, I, I do this normally. I'm trying to switch to it. It's not letting me switch either. Because of this, I'm accelerating for no reason. So, so I can't quite work this out. Even the other ship is accelerated, but look at it. He is on a 25 by... F and I can't even switch to the vessel because apparently I'm, I'm, I'm accelerating, which does not make sense. Because I shouldn't be accelerating. <laughs> So yeah, I'm confused now. I am completely confused by this because this is exactly what happens. So, so I'm going to end the stream and I think I'm going to have to give up on this mission. It's still accelerating, look. And I've got no engines on. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I can't understand what is going on here. What is going on? For Christ's sake, let me fire. Can I fire? Let me fire this engine in a second. Try see if I could stop it somehow. Because I can't suss this out at all. It's it's going completely bananas at the moment. Oh, what am I doing? It won't even go on here either. It's just not responding. Don't tell, me, don't tell me he's out of electricity or something stupid. He's not out of electricity. So I've no idea what's going on here. It's decided it's just going to mess up. I've got to extend this antenna in case it's something to do with the control. Um, but for some reason I'm still accelerating. <laughs> Which is insane. Because I shouldn't be. So I've no idea what is going on here. So I'm going to do a bit of thrust, cancel it, and see if that'll stop it. It's still ex it's still going up. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is going on? So yeah, I kind of give up with this now because. This is exactly what happened last time. I pressed my the lander engine and the other engine decided to fire. And I've hit the same problem again. 
So I wish they would patch this because this doesn't happen that often, but it seems to happen every time I stream, this seems to happen, which is ridiculous because this should, uh, shouldn't be happening. So I don't know what's going on here. And now, and now it's showing it's not happening. Hang on a minute. So yeah, well, yeah, it's uh, well now it stops accelerating. <laughs> so yeah, I'm at a complete loss. What's going on here? And this thing's still accelerating and won't stop. So we're, our orbit is a bit out, but... <sighs> Unbelievable how I... I just seem to get bad luck every time I stream, so... I get to a point now where I'm going give to up, give up on streaming at this rate. If this is going to happen, I may have to just not do this anymore on uh, Mixer. Because until they patch this game... Because it's getting mad now. Absolutely ridiculous. And I'm wasting the fuel left, right, and centre. So, it's really annoying. So, it's not a good advert for a Kerbal Space Program, is it? But, I'll say, it don't normally happen very often. So, I'll bring this back down to 15 by 15. like so okay so I can stabilize these two crap I mean I'm already going to be tight to get back to Kerbin as it is without this going wrong by then this one's gonna be well he's just gonna keep going isn't he where's my maneuver now gone uh, where are we over here right let's I'll see if I can pull this back from the brink, but it's not looking very helpful because at the moment I can't even control the other craft for some reason. I mean, this has stopped. At least this has stopped doing it, which is something. It's so annoying. I hate it when uh, these bugs come into games. I mean, it, why do games have so many bugs these days? It's unbelievable because it, you didn't get this in the 80s. Uh, as far as I know, you hardly ever got a bug in the 80s. That's because they were short, compact. Oh, probably not as complicated, yeah. I mean, they were just jumping, moving left and right and stuff, wasn't it? So it was a bit easier in them days, but <laughs> it's still annoying. Because people today ought to be better than uh, then, surely. Cause they, they know a lot more. And they've got better systems. Right, that's 15, that's 15. Right, we've got that one right. Now we've got to try and rescue this other guy who's flying up here for some unknown reason. <laughs> Jeez. What is going on? Please, Kerbal, perform properly. Wish they'd hurry up and put this new patch up because this is going to drive me nuts. This is. <laughs> It really is driving me nuts. And I'm already tight on fuel, so uh, we, we may not make it here. So I'm kind of getting a bit annoyed here. So I hope when you play in this game, you don't get as many bugs as I do. But God, I'm getting so unlucky. It's unbelievable. Right, we get this back to 15 by 15. Of course, we're going to be miles apart now, probably. And then, I mean, good luck trying to get that, by the way, because, <laughs> uh, yeah. Right, let's set this one. I hope it works. But, yeah, I'm really tight on fuel now. In fact, I may not even make it back. So, <laughs> I maybe I should have done this on PC, because cause they have got the latest patch. It's, it's, it's uh, you know, I don't get these problems on PC. So it's probably a good advert for doing it on PC, really, isn't it? <laughs> yep. 
Right. Let us... And it's confusing me the hell out of me. And I normally get confused with these games anyway. But so it's making it even worse for me. Because I'm already struggling with this game as it is. With trying to fight the bugs. So it's making it very hard for me to stream this. Usually it's my error, you know. But it wasn't this time. And this same, same thing happened last time, I think, on the stream. Which is why I deleted it. Because... I decided to delete the whole whole thing because it just totally messed up. Right, about three seconds, roughly. Maybe that was a bit too soon, so we go down a bit, turn it off early, and then we just take off that last bit. Right. So that gets our... At least we now we won't crash into the moon. Now we're going to have a, a 15 by 15. And then I'll bring this back in. I hope we're not miles away from the craft that we're trying to dock with. And I hope this process doesn't go wrong again, because if it does, then I will have to end the stream, because we're just fighting bugs here. So annoying. Why is it programmers today it just seem to be so inefficient? Even games five years ago were less, were more bug-free than this. But unfortunately, it seems to be getting worse, doesn't it? Which is a real shame. Uh, well, are we on 12 on that? It's a little bit uh, too much. Uh, I'm just going to alter the orbit line I think that will help. It should bring one down, the other one up, hopefully. Right, that one's getting a little bit lower now, so around about there. That, that's sort of evened out a little bit. So I'll try again the second time. Whether this will work, we'll soon find out. We'll uh, walk the next manoeuvre again. Hope this isn't all calculated wrong. <laughs> Jeez, 17 seconds. As I say, I'm already tight on fuel to get back. I mean, I can transfer some from the uh, lunar module. So I, I do hope you're not getting the, this problem, but uh, it seems to be happening every time I stream at the moment. Um, it doesn't seem to be happening off stream. So this is very, very strange because I took off for the moon, came back up to the thing and docked, and then I thought, well, all right, I better take it back down because I'm supposed to be doing it from the moon, not... But I was trying to get another craft here instead and replace it with the newer update one so that the top half of the lem would separate, but... It would have taken to a little bit too long. So, right, we're going to go on about nine seconds here. Okay, which means when it's about halfway, it should be about zero. It's about right. We just hope we got enough fuel. You know, we shut it off a little bit early and just just this last bit in very carefully to zero and press it a couple of times make sure it is off right now we're back to where we were now we're probably way behind the other craft now aren't we where is the yeah it's way over here now so yeah that's kind of annoying <laughs> so <laughs> so now i've got to do this again so what i'm going to do is we're going to speed this up we're going to go to the tracking center because I'm going to have to make several orbits to catch up now. Uh, oh, actually, I should have adjusted that orbit a little bit lower. Let me see what it is a minute. Let's get rid of the flags, because that does tend to litter it up a little bit. Right, let's go to that one. Let's see what that orbit is. It's 15, well, nearly 16 by 15. And this one is... Oops. <laughs> I accidentally pressed the A button. God, I, I've, I'm, I'm getting annoyed at myself just by embarrassing myself over and over again. I'm fighting bugs, plus I'm fighting my own ineptitude. And <laughs> so, yeah, it's not fun, is it? Uh, so, yeah, there's probably a lot of people out there thinking, my God, this guy is useless. You're right, I am a bit useless. Right, I am catching up. Okay, that's all I want to know. That I am catching up. 
and then I can I can go into the tracking station and um, I can speed this whole process up of doing multiple orbits um, so I am behind them so I should be going quicker so therefore I should catch up so what I'm going to do is not press on it but I'm going to go to enable time war and we're going to do some multiple orbits here and we can go faster when we're in here so look we can keep doing this until we catch up so it just saves us doing it on a very slow speed if you you actually on the craft with this we can speed the whole process we can go faster again but if you do it really whiz around tremendously fast so we'll, I wouldn't recommend doing it anymore and then we'll just watch this get closer and closer and when it's quite close then we'll take over and hope it, it doesn't fire both engines again because this should have been in a half an hour stream really just going up to the thing docking coming and then coming back and now it's gone into a nearly a one hour and one now so we're gradually catching up here I mean, I may have fired the engine at the wrong point, but that shouldn't have had the effect of making the other craft go fast. Uh, you know, fire its engines, which is what that happened. So, let's get fairly close. Not ridiculously close, obviously, otherwise we might go straight past it. And then we've got to do the opposite and do a wider orbit. So, I don't really want to do that. So, let's get to about... Ooh, we're getting a little bit close now. So, let's go for about maybe a little bit more one there right let's go to there and then we'll come back out of there and we'll click on our craft i may switch the uh, um the lander let's see who's got a uh, you know better fuel yeah maybe i'll redo this one again and delete the old the two old ones because <laughs> this is getting ridiculously embarrassing now uh, please is it because I've got it on target and that's what's messing it all up? Because something's going wrong. Right, there he is, right there. So, what is our distance at the moment? Our distance is, between, actually between us, is 10 kilometres. Okay, now if I do a, let's see, if I do a manoeuvre from, say, that point, Okay, and then we flick it onto this, and then we can flick this. And again, it's changed before I've done anything. <laughs> so it seems to be calculating this. Look, it's gone from 10 to 4 without me even doing anything. That should not be happening. So I'm kind of confused by that. So if I do it again, will it do it again? No, all right, okay, it's not doing it there. Right, okay, let's do it from here then. Let's see if I can get that better. Not that way. Now, this will bring our orbit in, so we've got to be a bit careful. Let me just check it. Uh, okay, so far. So as long as it doesn't go any lower than about 14 or 15. About four there. Point three, one point two. Right, okay, that's about the best. It is one point two? Oops. Yeah, it's pretty fine, delicate stuff with the joystick, unfortunately. One point one. Is that the best we can do? I think that's the best we can do. Then I'm gonna move this. See if we can improve on that. No. In that case, we'll do the blue one. So if we can make a, an alteration there, that sometimes does it. That's going worse, so this way it's going to go a bit better, hopefully. Right, here we go. Point one, look like until it flicked suddenly. So again, it's very, I'm going very, very gentle on the joystick here. Ridiculously gentle check this orbit is not too low that should be okay that's about 13 that's not bad now he's 15 7 he is 
15 9 we are what are we on this end we are 15 so that's fine that was a bit low but we should be all right as we get closer unless of course this decides it's going to mess up again so let's see if it works this time so i should be able to warp to this maneuver okay don't worry about the separation bit. I haven't made a manoeuvre yet, so that won't show up until I've made a manoeuvre. And if both engines fire again, then we're going to have to close the stream, because, uh, yeah, that shouldn't be happening. So, yeah, it's baffling me. So, not a great advert for the game, unfortunately, but, it, and you know, I'm, we're waiting for this patch. We've been waiting for quite some time for it. And, uh, yeah, it's rather annoying. Because I want this to work properly. Because I love this game. Right, here we go then. If the other engine fires, I will go nuts. Well, that worked. Did it mess my orbit up? Let's hope it hasn't messed it. It doesn't seem to have messed it up. Thank God. <laughs> right. That's good. Has it messed the other one the orbit up? 15. 15. Right. We're okay. We're also okay on this. We're still on zero, zero, So we're on the correct plane. Though it looks like everything went well that time. Thank God. It's when I do this to the target. That could be when I get a problem. How much fuel have I got? I'm not too bad on fuel. So we're going to actually go around to about here. Let's see. Let's get down to about there. And uh, we'll just check where it is and just make keep an eye on it and make sure it does not smash it into the craft. But we should get down about point, what was it, point 0.2 or point 0.1, which will be perfect. And as long as the other one's engine does not start, I'm always tempted to do a quick save, just in case it goes wrong. Right, okay. So far, so good. So I'm going to do a quick save here to protect this now, which I should have done last time, really. Okay, so rapidly approaching that point now. So I'm going to switch to the other one here. Make sure this one is deactivated. Because that may have been it, and maybe it thinks, uh, you know, although I've switched, I'm switching crafts here by, you know, pressing this button to switch. It's almost like I'm still in control of it. So now, as far as I know, it wasn't even activated last time. Right, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to use our our um, RCS thrusters and hope it does not affect the other guy, because if it does, we are in dead stum, as they say. Now again, I've got to go retrograde on this. And actually what I'm going to do is get to this point, and I'm going to switch off target mode in case it is this that is causing it. Actually, I should have held it where I was then. I should have held it on that point with this. Because I don't quite know what made it fire the other engine. Right, we're coming in rapidly here. And uh, pray this don't go wrong again. Point one. So we are. Let's see how many minutes? Three minutes away. And then we'll just counteract this uh, thrust. But 
but this is where it's just supposed to be is here because he's moving all the time by the way all right if i've got plenty of monoprop i might actually use monoprop come to think of it uh, i mean it'll take a long time to slow it down but i'll do a quick thrust and hope it doesn't make the other one thrust if it does and then i'm in big trouble so I'm going to turn this off. And then turn it back on again. And I hope it doesn't affect the other ship. It's not moving, so it's looking good. Otherwise it would be moving if the other one's rocket had started. <sighs> God. So bear with me as <laughs> as we do this. It should go down about, was it two or was it one? And then I will fire the engines to slow ourselves down. Hopefully this time it'll work. If it doesn't work this time, then uh, I'm going to explode. <laughs> I think that's the word I'm looking for. Explode. Right, we're nearly there. And again, I'm going to save game here. Idea really is, is not let it get too close, but when it gets you know pretty close to us, we fire the end, slow our rate of descent down to zero, and doesn't take us into a really high orbit again. With a bit of luck. Looking good so far. That is looking good this time. Good. Thank God for that. So we're going to aim at the target. Now he should be not under... Hopefully he's not expanding his orbit. No, we're okay. Our orbit's okay. I'm not taking any chances this time. Absolutely fine. Good. Now we're going to... Yeah. Thrust towards the target. Hopefully we're facing that way, yes. Around uh, about five. Should be sufficient. Then I'm going to... Switch to docking mode. Oh, not, dock, not that, sorry. We're going to switch to docking mode turn on our RCS thrusters and we're going to turn off our engine so nothing goes wrong okay and then as we get closer and closer and then what we're going to do we're just going to adjust this so that it's right on that lovely pink dot in the middle of that circle that will keep it in line and as we get really close we'll both look turn towards our target so that we're both facing each other perfectly just keep an eye on that yellow line it will you know gradually move because obviously he's moving as well so uh, just make slight adjustments here and there and um, we're approaching it you know quite slowly which is what i want and we are actually going to be in the light still which is nice so we should yeah yeah hitting about what Uh, one minute. So about one minute. We should be pretty, pretty darn close. So fingers crossed this time. This is going to be okay. What? <laughs> it always goes on twice as long because of these uh, bugs. Looks so like it's decided it's going to be okay this time. Maybe because I went to the tracking station, came back. Because sometimes doing that uh, can fix it. You know, going out, going out to the out of the menu or whatever. It's like the controller sometimes decides it ain't gonna work. Uh, especially the A button decides it ain't gonna work sometimes. Right, and then we, uh, the triggers do the thrust. The right one will thrust us towards it, and the other one will go thrust us away. So we're gonna fire, close this, speed down now to about two. Uh, maybe until one and then we'll adjust this so there's still s smack on and then I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to switch to the other crowd hold the left button and right on the d-pad 
and then we're going to point this one at the target okay like that so they both should be pointing directly at the target okay and then we're going to switch back uh, and get this one back on the target if i i don't want to use the monoprop um you know keep that on because if I do, it may just make small adjustments at the last minute. It may just, just slightly go out. We can just tweak this now so that it's dead in the middle again. And then what I usually do is, to get a better view of that end, I usually aim the camera at it. So it looks like it might work this time. Yeah, if you, if you want to get rid of that little window that's up, just have the uh, pointer and then just press X and that will make it disappear. And then click your left button, push it down so that it clicks uh, and that will cancel your arrow. Because obviously you won't be able to do, operate the ship if you've got the arrow up. That's only for, you know, going into looking in the boxes or, or you know, doing all this stuff, clicking on here and stuff. But you've got to be out of it to actually get control of the craft. So we're just going to make still small adjustments here as it's approaching. But now we've got a nice close view. I did not mean to do that, actually. I meant to do this. It's very confusing because on this uh, particular game, it says to press this particular button to zoom in and out. But when you're in map mode, it's the triggers that do it, whereas it's the buttons when you're in this. It's a bit confusing. I wish I kept it the same for both. It would have saved a lot of effort. It'd be a bit less confusing for me because sometimes I, I can't remember whether it's triggers or or the button. It's very fine manoeuvre, somebody. You've got to just tweak it very slowly. Right, it's coming in nicely. I'll slow it down about one uh, meter per second, and then I'm going to check that uh, it's still pointing at the target. So we line up absolutely perfectly. Right, we're going to slow it down now. Okay, and then I'm going to shut off the thing just to make sure that nothing happens in between. Uh, and then we're just going to recorrect this just in case it's wandered. No, it's okay. Then we're going to quickly flick back, uh, turn on our RCS, make sure we're still on target. And then we're just going to tweak this last bit. Now we'll have to aim the camera again. Every time you go to swap craft, you have to redo redo it get rid of that so that's in the way right, coming in nicely and then we'll just put the brakes on by holding the left trigger just to slow it down a little bit that's coming in about right though that should be about right we could just slow it down fractionally and then when it gets really close it will pull in although it's a zero zero there it is moving very slowly and then these should just suddenly just attract each other with the old magnets and we should lock together right done thank the lord for that <laughs> right then now what we could do is set this to uh crash into the planet but i'm not going to do that first thing we're going to do is we're going to transfer our crew back well i'm going to transfer one of them back uh first of all uh dudvis the engineer so we're going to transfer him back here i mean we could get him out of the craft but <laughs> to be honest i can't bother right i'm going to shut that off and then all i'm going to do is empty the fuel from here and if you pin it it won't disappear when you click off on the next one right because there's a bit of fuel left in there and i'm going to press x on that one enable the cutaway so that i can get to the uh actual tank that's inside and then i'm going to click on that and then we're going to drain all the fuel out of the left you know that's left in the uh in there and then we're also gonna get rid of that one i'll pin this one now and we're going to get the fuel out of there as well although do it until it comes up with that uh okay oh it's already out okay fine so there we go we should that is uh let's get rid of that so in here there should be no fuel in here there should yeah come away from the edge if it does that 
there's no fuel in there there is another tank that's hidden in there i don't know uh when i put that in but apparently there's a hidden tank in there i might have to zoom in to sort of sometimes you gotta zoom in to do it but there was another little hidden tank i noticed uh i don't know how I, why i put that in um I'll turn that thrust right off just in case it fires. Although I don't think there's any fuel in it. Uh, right, let's. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get access to the other ones. I think there's a there's a very small tank in here somewhere. Um, I might be able to do it like. Th uh, let me click on here and see if there's any. There is another tank. Because I thought I saw a another little mini one somewhere, which is sort of hidden inside somewhere. So I'm trying to get that one to show up because there's a little bit of fuel in it. Uh, where are we? It's back here somewhere. Don't think it's going to show up then. So how much fuel have we got in here? So I'm hoping we've got enough to get back. It's not too bad. Less than half a tank makes it a little bit dicey. Not that one. Yeah, there was a. I noticed there was a very small tank in here, and I can't seem to get on it. Sometimes you can sort of cut through here, and you can access it. Not that. Not that. That one's empty. Maybe if I zoom in here. It was like a, in between these two two here. There seemed there seemed to be one. Doesn't look like it then. All right. Okay. We'll have to hope this is enough. Um, right. We just transfer the other one. I'm actually going to. Yeah. We'll transfer. We'll take the, the crew out here. So we'll transfer the crew. Take the pilot out. Which means we'll have no control over the craft anymore, but that's fine, we don't need it anymore. Okay, right, now, everything from here should be empty. We should have no fuel. Uh, so we just got to hope now I get back. Uh, I'll see if I can get, get in on an angle at that other tank. It's uh, smaller than this one, but... I don't know, I'll put a little tank in there. It must have been a, a mistake or something. But um, it don't look as so I can find it. I think it was really close here where the actual joint is. Like right in here it was. Because there is a little bit of fuel in that little mini tank. It don't look as so I can find it. It was right near this engine somewhere. This uh, secondary engine. Is that it? Well, there's monoprop in there. So I might be able to take that out and put that in here. Uh, we got how much monoprop we got? If we got full monoprop, then we'll make it. Oh, yeah, we can. So I'm going to drain the monoprop out as well. It's always handy. Just in case I haven't got enough fuel, because I might be able to just do the last part of closing the orbit on uh, when we get a curb in just by using monoprop, because you can actually. Uh, adjust it with a monoprop. Right now we've got control of the aircraft of this one so we're going to do control from here like so we're going to detach this we're going to undock okay uh, we're going to get rid of that arrow and then I'm going to put this on and we're just going to thrust away with the left trigger uh, oh this is the problem I had last time it will not suddenly my thrusters are not working look i'm pressing it nothing's happening <laughs> it's doing it this way and this way look but it's not doing for the left triggers forward and back so yeah i'm, I'm kind of confused by what the hell is going on here really weird so yeah, I'm trying to pull away from that one, obviously. 
So I'm going to... I probably don't need that up. So Actually, yeah, it should be right. Actually, that is the one we should have. It's this one that because that's this is like the proper one. This one is like more like the actual one that was on the ship on the ship Apollo Eleven ship. Yeah, for some reason, uh, when I'm pressing the triggers, this is not working, which is a little bit odd. Because when I go to docking mode, yeah, I should be pulling away, pulling these triggers. Look, you can see there's thrust forward, up and down, on the little arrow, jumping up and down, but it's not actually working. It's a, it's a little bit strange to me. Is it because uh, this engine is not activated or something? Let me, uh, in fact, let's uh, increase that too. Let's uh, get that on there, get rid of that. It's a bit of work now. No, for some reason it won't work. So that's a bit odd. Right, so I was hoping to thrust a little bit away from here, but obviously it's not going to play ball, so uh, yeah, we're kind of confused here. So I'm going to turn that away. What I'm going to do is just thrust a little bit, sort of keep out of range of him, and we don't sort of crash into each other at some point. I will, uh, it's really hard actually, when it got two... Uh, two this close together. Sometimes it's really difficult to get the two to... Uh, how close are we there? Yeah, we'll be very close there. So I'm going to increase this orbit a little bit just so that we're not actually going to hit that as I go around. Because I'm going to go around the planet now and pick the best or, uh, orbit line to go back to Earth. So I'm just going to increase... Uh, I'm just going to go forward a bit till we get to this one. And we're going to do, we're facing four, and I'm going to thrust away so that we can ch change this distance is a little bit close here for my liking. So I'm going to thrust away a little bit when I'm pretty much on here in six seconds. Just so that our distance is nice and big here. Okay, it doesn't matter if I increase that a little bit. Right now we're setting it back to, we want to go back to a curve in, obviously, not Earth. So the best trajectory. Um, I found is round about here okay it's not on this line it's just a little bit off of that I find is a better one uh, and we can adjust this anyway and then what we'll do is we'll just press that button I will yeah this is where it changes to triggers to zoom out which is a bit annoying right and then we just push our orbit out and hopefully it won't be too many seconds and then that will bring that in, you see. Okay, see it's coming in close to Kerbin now. And we want it to about 100. It's not too many seconds, only four seconds. So it looks like we've got plenty of fuel. Uh, I might come down to 90 actually, or 93. That will do. So we, we've got a good orbit. And the main thing is that this uh, oval circle, you see, where gives us a 93 meters or kilometers uh, from Kerbin. It's also inside this orbit of the moon. If you go, if it's outside of that, you will actually, uh, you know, might have to go around a few roads, might have to go around the orbit a couple of times and slowly bring it in. Now, if, if see, if I make adjustments here, I can actually adjust it just with that. Pretty difficult to see because there's so many. Yeah, you see, I can actually adjust it with this. So you can make little adjustments just by moving it across the orbit line. So I'm going to go around about, I don't know, 95, somewhere around there. Okay, so as long as it makes sure it's inside there. If it's not inside, then move your orbit line so that it is. Right, eight seconds. That is really, really plenty of fuel. It's better than what I thought. Okay, so let's come back in. Uh, it's pitch black so I can't see a thing. <laughs> we shouldn't hit, so we should be fine. At least I hope not. Uh, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> one minute is triggers, the next minute is is hold the left button and and the right trigger. So it's a very confusing. They keep they have two different systems here, both got it at the same time. It's a bit odd. 
Uh, so I get confused between the two sometimes. Right, we don't need this target thing anymore. Um, so there's our maneuver node. We're here. Well, we could just click on that and just to see whether it is gonna. No, it's not gonna get in the way at all. So we're fine. So we're gonna unset that target. We're still on our 95. We've just got to get to here. It's only going to take eight seconds, so we only need four seconds of burn time on the before. So we can comfortably go past. We shouldn't hit or anything like that. At least I hope not. <laughs> Wherever it is. I don't know, somewhere around. But we're not we're not in any danger of hitting because we are. I pushed the orbit out a little bit. Right, so 59 seconds. Let's get this done, get it back and complete this whole Apollo thing, which has taken probably twice as long as it should have because of uh, these few bugs. So I say, as I say, four seconds. Split that in half. So you do four seconds before you get to the highest point of this maneuver and then four seconds after. Right, so let's uh, cut it the brown about there. Make sure you're out of warp mode. By pressing B, and then we'll wait to four seconds and we'll hit full thrust here. Okay, and then that will go out, and then it will actually start going towards Gerbin any second. And then we'll shut it off early, and then we'll just guide this little last bit a little bit in as slow as you can, like so. And we'll get that right on zero, and then that means we're dead on 95. So we should be absolutely perfect on 95. Pretty close, pretty close. Right, so now we've done that, we're clear to leave, and hopefully I have got all three astronauts on here. I have, because <laughs> that would be sad if we didn't. Right, uh, I'm going to go to here, warp to the end of here, because, you know, we don't want this to take too long, so we'll warp up there as fast as we can. Like so. Now, you could just keep going, of course. You know, keep doing this, keep doing that. We could go onto that yellow line, of course. Set our orbit, close our orbit on near Kerbin. But I'm going to just put the warp on a minute, just so that we're actually on this line, so it goes blue. There you go. Right, now we've done that, and now it's held left button. We're going to actually... Click on Kerbin. Hopefully, it doesn't try to pick something else. Because sometimes it, it tries to pick something that's near where your arrow is. But I'm going to, if you double click, it should center on the planet, like so. And then it's triggers instead of left button. Very confusing. I wish they hadn't done that. Then, what we can do is set maneuver node right here, right on the periapsis, which is the lowest point here. And then we're going to just make sure it's dead center. And then we're going to bring this orbit all the way into about 100. You don't need to do this, you can actually go straight, you know, go down to about 30,000 feet or whatever, and you could actually do all the, do the whole thing in. But I want to do this because I want to get it sort of somewhere near the station. So we're about 94, 95. That's great. That's, that's near enough. Don't have to be exact. I don't think there's anything else on a 90 by 90 orbit. No, that one's on 80. Uh, this one's on a 100 orbit. Uh, what else? Any other craft I've got? Uh, and this one here is about 150, I think, or 120. It's about 120. So we're, we're okay. We're not going to hit anything. So we're now going to be in a 100 by 100 orbit once we've completed it. This is the, the longest burn. So this is where we may run out of fuel. So, as I say, you don't have to do this this 100 by 100 or 95 by 95 because according to that we're going to run out of fuel you could just go straight in and land here but uh we're just inside that orbit so it's technically you can do it but um i'm not going to risk it so we've got monoprop so we can still adjust our orbit so i'm not going to worry about it okay so i can use up all the fuel 
Uh, it says 22 seconds. Nude in t how long? 24 hours? That seems a bit odd. Eh? Oh my goodness, now what's gone wrong? <laughs> oh dear, I, I honestly, I am seriously pulling my hair out here. Because these bugs are really, I hate bugs in games. It's absolutely ridiculous. I've never known a situation like this where bugs have been so bad in games in my whole life. I'm going to go down about 200. Because <laughs> that should not have gone past it. See, if I click on this orbit line here and do that, that should, it should just bring him down to there. It shouldn't have gone past it there. I may have clicked on somebody else's orbit line by mistake. That's probably what happened, because I can't do stuff, stupid stuff like that. But, um, I mean, it wasn't didn't look as though it was on anybody else's orbit, but when you're very close, it can sometimes that's that you think you mean the other one by mistake. As you just saw. And don't forget to click on the manoeuvre node, of course. It's pretty near retrograde anyway, which is what we should be doing. So this time, 21 seconds, we have got enough fuel. <laughs> Crazy. Didn't mean this would be this long. It should have took me half an hour doing this, if, if things have gone uh, right. Right, we need about 10 seconds. Well, I'll, I'm going to do 11, be on the safe side. So, 11 seconds, there we go. We should practically use up all our fuel. Now, if we don't quite make it with fuel, we can just use monoprop to bring this orbit that we're on, you know, where we are now on 95. We could just bring, just bring this down to 35, so we can come in for a landing uh, without any problem, just by using monoprop. So it's not a problem. Or a problem. A prop. prop. No, no, all right, sorry. <laughs> excuse, excuse me for that. <laughs> right, okay, so... This was 200, but now, now we're, we're plenty close enough. We don't have to worry about heating as we come in. So I'm going to pull this in. Uh, I usually get the arrow up so I can click on that, so I can get a good reading. Uh, and I want to bring this in to about... Although, come to think of it, let's cancel that. I try to come down near um, near the... Uh, near the actual space centre, but it looks like... We're going to have to wait to, to revolve all the way around, so I don't think I'll bother. <laughs> uh, I'll do it round about here, because I don't... You know, this is sandbox mode, we don't have to worry too much about contracts and being... Cause if, you, if you're in the career mode and you land near the station, you get more money back. So I'm going to move that around here, just so we're going to land on land somewhere. So, I don't know, here... If we go we're heavy, we should be sort of round about that area, but um, once we uh, detach the other part, it'd probably be a lot less than that. I usually go down about 35, 30, somewhere around there, anywhere around there do. Right. Notice this highly accurate stuff. <laughs> 0.3 of a second. Apparently we haven't got enough fuel, but we've got monoprop, so <laughs> it's not a problem. Right, where are we? Uh, where's the maneuver node? It is... Ah, where's the maneuver node gone? Way over there. Let's hope it clicks on the right one this time. Hang on. It's got to be on the blue one. So as long as we click beyond onto the blue one, warp to next maneuver, we can zip round. Pull that in and that will... Uh, yeah, we should... That should uh, pull us all the way in, and we can just detach from the other one. Hopefully it will hit us on the way down. <laughs> it, it does happen, you know. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do just before that is, obviously, we don't need to service this bit anymore. Although we've got to make the burn first. Wait a minute, let's do the burn. Let's do the burn. <laughs> don't detach it before we've done the burn. That would be stupid, wouldn't it? Yep. 
Ooh, going a bit quick here. <laughs> right, go. Right, we're out of fuel. Right, you may think, hang on, that's a big problem. It's not. <laughs> Although it seems alarming. Right, there it is there. What we're going to do is... It's going to do it with a monoprop. So I'm going to go here. Uh, oh, hang on. What are we on? Docking mode or... And then we're going to... Of course I can't fire my thrusters, can I? Oh dear. Yeah, the, yeah. why is the monoprop not working? Have I seriously got no um, thrusters on here? I have got thrusters. Yeah, look. Maybe I haven't got monoprop. I should have monoprop. I know I have got monoprop. At least I hope I've got monoprop. Well, I have got monoprop, yeah, because I was firing it earlier, wasn't I? But yeah, look, there's monoprop there. Is it because this is in the way? Well, it can be. Because I've got that on there. But um, the thing is... Uh, these are working. So why aren't these the others working? Is it because we're not... I mean, we're attached to it, so... Yeah, for some reason, that is not working. So I'm kind of baffled by that. So it, what it would do is do... Uh, what are we down to? As long as it's brought it in a certain amount. I may not brought it down enough then. So yeah, because I can't fire those thrusters, I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> so I'm kind of a bit baffled now. What if I... manually... Uh, hang on, let's go to staging mode. If I manually turn the ship this way like that and then thrust this uh hang on it's only got to left and right is it on these it's not operating the other ones for some reason that's a bit odd so for some reason we can't operate this why That does seem a bit odd. Because I can't use these, apparently, according to that. <laughs> Is it because I need a cutaway? I mean, same vessel? Same vessel, maybe that's it. Uh, let me see if that's it. No. I still can't use the thrusters for some reason. So I am getting no luck at all here. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, this is, doesn't normally happen. So what I'm going to do is go that way and keep thrusting that way. Maybe that will push it in. I mean, I've no idea if that will work, but I've got to do something because this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Let's go back to that. If I, if I press it that way, is that going to bring my orbit in? Is it making any difference? It is making a difference. Yeah, you see it's... Well, it's making a little bit of a difference, but... It's... Yeah, it is actually slowly bringing it down. It's not fast, but... Yeah. <laughs> It is helping to bring this orbit down a bit. It is coming down a little bit. So if we can get it, yeah, if I wait till I get to the top here. Let me cancel that. If I get to the top here, we'll try and adjust it from here. So yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting no luck at all here. I've never known a craft with, that's assembled like that, where the thrusters do not work on the, uh, on the service station, because we're still connected. So I am pretty baffled here at why all this uh, is happening. Uh, it's driving me nuts, really. So if I go back down to, say, the 30-something 30, 30 that I wanted and cancel that, and then we'll go this side of the orbit and do warp to the next manoeuvre. 
please. Hurry. Go to that. And then we'll try and we'll try and do that again. See if we can see if we can do it just with thrusters alone. With just the two thrusters instead of four, which is a uh, yeah, it's a bit odd. I don't quite know what the hell's going on in this at the moment. It's this uh, it's a bit baffling, to be honest. And I'll mark both of them so they're both coming up. Right, let's try it again. Let me turn it off so we don't waste any. Uh, let's bring this down a bit. I might have to do it early because um, these thrusters do not use up much. So we're on there. We've got the thrusters on. We're 20 odd seconds. So I'm going to start pushing the thrusters and see if we can get this 42.4 thing to go down or up or whatever. We want it right. It's going up that way, so it should be going down this way. No? What about that way? <laughs> oh dear, I'm I'm plagued by misfortune on this. So God, it's it's enough to put me off. I don't think I'll stream this again. Because I'm just getting nothing but problems on this game. It is driving me nuts. Absolutely driving me nuts because this shouldn't be happening. Hang on, what should, what should I have on last time? Was it? I can't remember if I had on that mode or the other mode. Let me try on this one. Oh no, that's actually going to turn it. Okay, that's a bad idea. So we should be on this one. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm completely baffled here why this is not working. It's actually coming down, that's all I want to know. 86. See, the trouble is you can't do these thruster things while you're in this, which is... <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me. It's, like it's, it's, it's doing this. It keeps wanting to pull around like this, which is insane. Well, that is bringing it... Is it bringing it down or going... It's going up. So you see what I mean is 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 driving me nuts. This is because I cannot seem to. Uh, you can only do it when you're on this one. So I can't really tell whether my orbit line is going up or down because I can't see it. So it's it's really annoying. Oh, right, this is going down. Okay, so this should be, at least be bringing it down. So I'll just keep on going. I'm in a minute past now, so it's probably too late. This is having a little bit of a difference. And so this should have gone down now. Right, so we cancel this, we can do it again. But yeah. As you can see, it is darn annoying when you get problems like this. If I can come down to about there, it'll be something, because at least it'll gradually pull us in bit by bit. Uh, so I'm going to try that. Right, let's go here. Walk to the next manoeuvre again. Uh, oh, I give up, I really do. I was supposed to do this before dinner, but now it's like 20 past two, so I'm back. <laughs> nearly an hour past my normal time for dinner. So yeah, I I, can't, I think I'll give up streaming Kerbal for the minute until they, they get this new patch up, which gives you a lot more finesse when you're doing orbits and things. It means you can uh, do it really, really slowly if you want. So I could really do with that as well. So... So if I start, I think I start doing it now. Uh, which way was it? This way. Right, it's going up. Let's go down. Let's 
just trying to bring it in low enough that um, you can just pull it inside the atmosphere. And once we get inside, I think it's 75 or 70 kilometers. Oh, that's going. Why is that suddenly changed to going up again? <laughs> All because these thrusters won't work. Unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable why this is not working. I've never had this before where the thrusters are not working on the, uh, you know, these here, I should be able to, that should be thrusting with the thrusters, but it's not, even though I've got thrusters on here. These should be uh, used. See, it is enabled. They're all enabled. What is the actuation toggles? toggles? Ah, wait a minute. If I, I might better do it. Ah, I might better do it. Hang on, those are off for some reason. No, still won't let me do it. Oh, hang on, it's because I'm. No, it still won't let me do it. So yeah, I don't know what to do because this is just not working. It's just not working how it's supposed to. So I cannot bring this orbit in. So we're completely stuck. So <laughs> I give up. I, I give up. That's it. I officially give up on it. So it's no point in me streaming the uh, Kerbal because if I'm going to keep getting these problems, I'm never ever going to be able to do this properly because it's, I'm just going to hit constant bugs. So developers of this game squad, please, will you give us the latest update so that it fixes some of these bugs? because we've been waiting a long time and it is getting rather frustrating now so please can you sort this out because it's driving me nuts it's like you can do it in this mode but of course it doesn't keep its orientation though it keeps swinging round and round like a yo-yo which is ridiculous so of course as it gets one way to go forward then it go back you see it's it's just uncontrollable and if I go into this, I can't see what I'm doing. So, <laughs> you know, it's 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 pretty tough stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna cancel this. Sorry, I put up with all that, but it's just it won't seem to work for some reason. So I officially give up with it. Uh, I'll tell you what I will do. Actually, as a last resort, I am gonna separate the two craft. So maybe this will work. Uh, I'm going to flick it like this. I'm going to detach it. When I get onto the staging mode, that is. I'm going to detach it. I hope it detaches. Is it detaching? Right, we're detached. Then we're going to do that. And let's see if we can do it with this. So if I can do, use this and this will work. <laughs> I gotta get. I gotta give up. I've actually officially given up on this now. Because whatever I do here is not. It won't go forward or back or back or forward or whatever. It just keeps doing this, so it's just ridiculous. I've only got two actuation uh, things, so. It's just not working. It's only working if I do that. So yeah, I will try and do it. I'll get I'll get one last attempt at the top of the orbit here. Eighty-four by one hundred ninety-six. Let me try it at the top of here. I might be able to do it because it's lighter. And it might have more effect. So let me try that instead. Uh, maybe I'll pull this from the brink. Yeah, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Bring this down about 50-something. <laughs> Jeez. What do you do, eh? Hey. Right, let's put it on the orbit line. No. Other side. <laughs> 
you know what I mean? It's driving me nuts. This. Look at this boy. Here, I was spawning in the stream. So I may, I mean, until they fix the bugs, I don't know how I'm actually going to achieve this because uh, it's just continually not working. I've never had it with the two craft are connected to each other like that, and they will not use the thrusters that are on the service uh, service module. So I, I'm a bit baffled by it, to be honest. Right, let's uh, go to this one. Go make sure we're in docking mode. And then we'll, I'll start doing it now. Right, we want to do it, so I think it was this way. Keep pushing it at least one way or the other until we get it to go down. <laughs> no? You're really not going to change? <laughs> oh, jeez. Crackers in it. It is officially crackers. I'm officially going nuts here. What am I facing? I can't even see where I'm facing, for goodness sake. So that is pushing. Which way is that pushing? I can't even see. Should be that way. Doing it a little bit. But good luck, guys, with landing, by the way. Because <laughs> it don't look as though you're going to have much success, does it? Did that bring it in any, any way at all? Barely. So it, it just flies around if I do it in in this mode. So yeah, it's just pretty pretty impossible for what I can see. So yeah, I don't know how we're gonna do this. It's it's just ridiculous, isn't it? So okay, I officially give up on this. Uh so I'm very sorry that this hasn't worked. Um I may as well just load in the save that I had before, because this is a total waste of time. Because uh, I don't want to be them to be permanently going around in that particular orbit, to be honest. Uh, I'll lose a previous save and I'll abandon it there because uh, I think we'll abandon doing trips like this. The one minimus one seemed to work all right. This is very odd. That didn't seem to have any problems at all. But it seems very odd that this one here. See. When we're in docking mode here, right, these thrusters are working. Why did it fail when I got to uh, got the uh, curb in? Because <laughs> they're working fine now, look. We have thrust both the, both those ways, whereas before it was just doing this and that. So, yeah, I can't work this out. One minute it's working, next minute it's not working. So, yeah, I'm completely baffled. Am I targeting something? Oh, it's that. Oh, crack it. Oh, I think I've messed it up now. <laughs> Hang on. I've messed up this now, haven't I? So, oh, I thought we'd all, we were already docked when I, uh, I thought we were already docked when I did this. And I, didn't I uh, save it when it was docked? Maybe I didn't. Oh, and now suddenly it stopped. Oh no, it's going okay. <laughs> One minute it's going, next minute it's not. So, yeah, 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 I'm baffled. I'll, I'll dock them together and then I'll think I'll quit. Very sorry about all this, everyone. But yeah, they're working fine now, and yet when I uh, got near Earth, or Kerbin, should I say, let me get it right, it suddenly stopped working. I could not do the thrust forward and back. 
So, <laughs> that was a bit tragic. So we've got to do the docking manoeuvre once more. Uh, in fact, I won't put you through this. You've already seen this. So I'll see you next time. And I'm very sorry that this went wrong. So I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.